Hello guys, welcome back to the bench. Today's a big one. We're going to be testing all of these white paints. Uh, acrylics and solvent based. And uh, we're going to see how they cover. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to cover black. We're going to use black as the base for each uh, test. And uh, first let's go over the brands and I'll explain to you the testing, what I'm going to do. All right, we'll start at the bottom and go across. Gaia Notes, Gaia EX Flat White. I got this because uh, they claim the EX is supposed to be a step above their other paint, so we'll see. Mr. Color, GX1. This is Cool White. Tamiya Lacquer, LP4, Flat White. Some are flat, some are gloss, depends what I had in my inventory. AK Real Colors, Flat White. Tamiya Acrylic. Well, this is their solvent acrylic. You can see the flame logo. Not exactly water-based. So this goes with the solvents. This is flat white. Uh, XF2. F meaning flat. Testers. Let's see which one this is. Flat white. We gotta print that thing. You need a magnifying glass. Finishers out of Japan. Pure white. It's a lacquer. Tamiya. XF2. This is their enamel. E7 basic mecha white. This is a little bit off. I tried to get a white. I think it was out of stock. So this is going to be a little on the gray side, but at least I get to test the brand, you know. Humbrel matte white. Here's the regular Gaia ultimate white. Might as well try the one that says ultimate, right? Ravel matte white. This is their enamel. It comes in a tin, but I transported all of them to these. To me, a square bottles and I put a label on it myself I did all that myself Mr. Hobby Aqueous number one white uh, this goes with the solvents because this is just like the Tamiya acrylic it's a solvent based acrylic hence the flame logo on the back this is A-OK -okay, Silver Oaks white uh, you recognize them more when they come in the box but this one's out of the box Uh, Mr. Base White. Now this is technically a primer. It's, it's a base to go over darker colors before you put lighter colors. But uh, seeing that it's technically not a primer, I'm going to try it. So I'm going to give this a shot and see what this does. As a matter of fact, um, we'll do this on camera too. All right, let's go back here. Hobby Mio Mecca White. This might be an off-white too. I'm not sure, but this is the one that I have. Despay Fault White. No, it's a uh, flat white. <laughs> Moto Pro Mix Royal White. MRP, otherwise known as Mr. Paint. This is an acrylic lacquer. Acrylic lacquer. These are from Slovakia. I like these paints. These are airbrush only, but we're going to try them. A lot of these are airbrush only, but we're going to go over that in a second. This is Splash Paints White. SMS White. That's the Scale Modelers Supply Company out of Australia. Odincon, base, basic color white. G-Paint, lacquer model paint, white. All right. I think that's all our solvents. All right, let's go across the back here. Pro Acryl, bold titanium white. These are the acrylics now. Matte white from Army Painter. Ammo by MIG. This is matte white. Uh, Mecha color by Vallejo. Or Vallejo. Off white. I didn't have the pure white for some reason, but I had that. This is Vallejo. Vallejo or Vallejo. Game Air. Dead white. Uh, scale color. Scale 75. This is just white. Acrisian, this is Mr. Hobby. Acrisian, this is uh, white. This is their pure water-based paint. No flame logo on it. So this goes in the true acrylic area. Citadel, air, white scar. AK, intense colors, white. This is their third gen. They call these their third gen acrylics. Uh, custom service, 
Sci-Fi White. This is, this is their Sci-Fi lineup, pure white. This is an acrylic. Mission Model Paints, white. Badger Model Flex. This is white, flat white. I'm trying to get the light here for you guys. There you go, flat white. I like these paints. I'm going to be doing a full test on these. I'm kind of impressed by the lineup. I haven't seen their white yet, but we'll find out, I guess. Wicked Colors by Creatix. This is Detail Flat White Opaque. Chroma Air. Mm -mm. White. This is a urethane based acrylic out of Florida. And on the end, white. I think this is white 2.0. Yep, there it is. Can you see it? 2.0. This is supposedly the whitest white. Let's get out of this container. We shall see if that is indeed the case. We'll be the judge of that, right, guys? It's a lot here, though. This wasn't cheap. 30 to 40 bucks almost shipped, but there is quite a bit here. I guess if you're going to do a lot of projects. Um, yeah, so. I guess you get what you pay for. All right. Here's the test. Uh, the, acry the acrylics. The lacquers or the enamels. The solvent based. I'm going to be spraying over these black plastic strips. This is just black plastic. I didn't touch it at all. I labeled each one. Here's Mr. Base. Everyone's labeled. What I'm going to do is I'm going to brush one side, airbrush the other side, and then I'm going to brush on these, these little rocks. Now what I did here was I got these rubber molds from the uh, train supply store, model trains, and uh, I poured my own resin in them and casted these myself, and I got this dye, and I just dyed the resin, and this is what I got. See it? See my rocks? Now, the reason I got this is because I wanted to see, we're going to see how it brushes on and lays flat when we brush it, airbrush it, of course, and everyone will, and then we're going to brush each one over these rocks and see how it, the nooks and crannies. I'm, I'm not going to go crazy and I'm not going to load up because obviously five or six layers is going to cover up anything. So we're going to see how these go on with just a one or two quick strokes, let it level off and you'll see what is left behind. Obviously, let it dry and you'll go over another coat. It's going to cover. Eventually, it's going to cover. We just want to see how this, how these are basically going to go on out of the bottle, brushed and airbrushed over a dark color. That's what we're going to. That's the test. I'm not going to go crazy and painting little things. That's the test. We're going to airbrush it, brush it on here, and then brush it on these rocks quick and see the result at the end. And um, I think from there we can tell the coverage of each of these. Now um, I'll do a couple on camera. I'm going to airbrush all of them on camera. But I'm only going to brush, I'm going to brush them off camera, but I'm going to show you me brushing them now, a couple. I'll do a, I'll do a, a solvent and we'll do an acrylic now um, on camera. And then off camera, I'll brush all of them. It's going to take a while. This Remember the, the last test, I thought if I showed everything, it would have taken longer than the uh, Lord of the Rings trilogy combined. If I did all of these, it would be... <laughs> Uh, brushing and painting and airbrushing all of them on camera it would be uh, the Lord of the Rings and the uh, Hobbit trilogy uh, back to back um, so as it is I'm going to airbrush all of them on camera which is going to take a while and um, but off camera I will show all the results of all of them brushed and whatnot but let's go ahead let me pause this camera and get ready and we're going to brush some of these on and I'll sh show you what I'm going to do all right guys I'm back let me go over a few things here um, for the acrylics uh, I like an acrylic, to, basically I like it to go over a primer. I think it clings better. Some will give you more trouble than others. I figured across the board, everything's going to go over the same base. So I have Army Painter Primer, flat black, oh, matte black there. See so I sprayed all of these strips. They were this grayish color. I sprayed them all black. So one side will brush, one side will airbrush. Or everyone will be over this black primered uh, spray paint from uh, Army Painter. And uh, we're going to be using the same brush for all of them. All right. This is my uh, GSI Creos. I just got flat number eight. Beautiful brush. And we'll use that for each one. And um, also want to show you my little uh, flusher here. This is, I put hot water in here. Now, obviously, it's for my uh, acrylic. And uh, you basically, you, you clean your brush and you flush the water down. It goes down. And it fills back up just like a little toilet bowl or something. And you flush all the dirty water under here. 
and you just dump it out when you're done. And uh, a great little gadget. I got this at Micromark. I'll put a link below. And uh, I'll have a coupon code for you too for, uh, for a discount by using my code. But let's go ahead and uh, I'll show you how we're going to be brushing each one of these before I do the, air, the uh, airbrushing. Um, on the airbrushing, I'll use my Harder and Steinbeck Evolution. Um, I'll switch off to my Bad Badger Patriot. I'll switch off to my Grex. So I'm going to use a bunch of airbrushes that way. I don't have to clean them out until I'm done with this test. It's going to be a long run. I don't have to thoroughly clean them because they're all white. So it's not like we're spraying a red, then a white. So it uh, won't be interference today. I'm going to do one first, then the other. Meaning I'm going to do all the lacquers and the uh, enamels first. And then we'll go over to the acrylics so I can use the same flushing technique for all of them. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, move this out of the way. I have to do a lot of shaking, so I'm going to show you how we're going to shake everyone. Here's my 4E's paint shaker. These, I think these have a BB in them that came with it, a little ball bearing. Yep, you can hear it. All right. I'll be doing all of those shakings off camera. Just want to show you guys what we're doing there. Now, uh, because I'm going to get all the dust off this, because uh, I don't want to make any more of a mess than I need to, I'm going to open up most of these instead of using the, the nozzle. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and uh, dip the brush directly in the, uh, in the jar that it comes with. So here we go. This is what we're going to be doing on each one of these. See, oh, this cover's nice. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and go with like two or three uh, basic coverings. This is what we're gonna see how it covers, you know, first blush, because going in again, obviously it's gonna cover, you know? But I, I like to try and get as much brush strokes as I can out of these. And uh, this is kind of impressive. Right off the bat, this is, you can tell this is a good one right off the bat. I'm not gonna wait for it to dry. I'm just gonna get it so the strokes are all nice and even. And that's what we're going to do on all of them. All right? So we'll put this aside. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this over and airbrush it. And then they're all labeled so we know each one. Now here's one of my uh, rocks or whatever you want to call these things here. My little casting stone. So let's dip in again. And I'm going to show you what I mean by... See, so yeah, this way you can see how good some of these are going to cover um, nooks and crannies, I guess. The old English muffin ad. That's all. That's yeah. And that's what I'm going to be doing to every single one of these. And uh, we'll hold them up at the end, and we're going to see what kind of coverage we get. And uh, as you see me, what I'm doing right here, maybe one, maybe two, you know, strokes across with the brush. And we're going to see what we get. Right off the bat, this one is impressive. I've done a couple behind the scenes. Uh, we're already looking like a good one right here. And, um, and that's it. Now, uh, I'm going to do the same on every single piece. Now, I'm going to show you. My little flusher here. See this? It even holds the brushes. Yeah. What a nice little gadget. And it's got a little rough bottom to it, so you can scrub it in. And then uh, keep a... Look at that. Cleaned right off nice. Now you flush the dirty water out. Let it go. And it fills right back up. <laughs> you can almost hear it filling up. And that's it. Now you got fresh water for the next batch, for the next uh, one I'm going to brush. Um, let's do this on camera. We'll do this, and then uh, I'll turn off the camera, and I'm going to brush all of them. And then I'm, when the camera comes back on, we'll be at the booth. But let's go ahead and try uh, white 2.0. This is some thick stuff here. It better work, huh? Sheesh. I'm not going to thin anything. I'm going to do everything out of the jar, because I just want to see how the paint is as it stands. Um, right out of its container. Then I, at that point, then I gotta start worrying if I thin one too much, so the, the test will be unfair. This is going. This is a straight out of the jar test. Everyone's getting the same treatment, the same brush, the same uh, over the same uh, base. So, so that's it. So there is the whitest white. That looks pretty good. That covered nice too. All right. All right. So we will let these dry. As I said, all of them are going to be brushed. But on camera, we'll head over to the booth. So let me brush the rest of these. It's going to take me a couple hours there. And I'll meet you guys 
back at the booth. All right, guys, here we are at the booth. My Pace spray booth. Um, still uh, getting used to it. We are much further out from uh, where the uh, filter is. But first up, we have Mr. Color White GX1. This is my Evolution. I am spraying at 20 PSI. And we're just going to see how well it covers. Classic is a little bouncy for me, but I can live with it. It looks like the uh, the paint is over here, but it's actually it's going right up. It's not coming towards me at all. A little bit went a long way. I thinned this uh, 40 60 uh, four parts paint to one part uh, to uh, six parts thinner, and uh, it covers pretty nice. All right, we'll go over everything at the booth. At the bench, rather. Uh, let me clean this out. Move on to the next. We got a lot more to go. All right. Next up, we have Flat White by AK Interactive. That's AK Real Colors, they're called. Well, this one covers a little, a little faster than the other one. Getting some spotting. I didn't clean off the needle the last time good enough, so we will take care of that. But boy, this uh, this covers good. It doesn't run. It covered really quick. Very nice. This is impressive. So this is a good one. Of course, we have a lot more to go. We will be comparing. All right. All right. That's it. Off to the next. All right. Next up. Testers, good old basic testers enamel in the old square jar. Switched up to my Badger Patriot. Let's see what we get. Blow off any dust here. With the Patriot, you go a little bit lower on the PSI. It's a more, uh, more efficient running airbrush. It even says in the manual you're going to go uh, 15 PSI. And this looks good. All right. All right. Clean out the brush. Next color. Next up, AOK. -okay. Silver Oaks White Number 1. This covers quickly just like the uh, the AOK test I did. All right, that's all set. All right, that was quick, which is good. We got a lot more to go. Let me clean this off. On to the next color. Next up, Tamiya, the basic Tamiya acrylic paint XF2. That stuff goes on nice. Real nice. All right, let this dry. Clean out the brush. Next color. Next up, finishers from Japan. Just to show you guys, we are doing a clean cup every time. Here we go. Roll off any dust. Let's go to town. It 
doesn't cover as quickly as the other ones. Eh. Let it go. Not bad. Again, we'll compare them side by side. All right, let me wash it off. Next color. Up next, Gaia. 31 Ultimate White. Whoa, this covers quick. You can see how some just cover it quickly, the last finishes. Took its sweet time covering, yeah? All right, well, that's it. Not bad. All right. Clean this out. Off to the next one. Next up, Mr. Hobby Aqueous, number one, white. I guess at this point I could just hold this thing down and just give it this treatment like a spray can. Yeah, well that covered nice. All right, let's move along quick. Watch it out. Next one. All right, next up, Tamiya LP4. This is Tamiya Lacquer. The Tamiya was almost pre-thin, man. It is really thin. I only put a few drops of thinner. Um, because, boy, it was pretty thin. Alright, looking good. Alright. Alright, that's good. Off to the next one. Let me clean out the brush. Alright, next up is... Mr. Base White. 1,000. Closest I'm coming to uh, doing a primer. Covers pretty good. Covers really good. Can you see it? Very nice. Wow, not bad. All right, let me clean this out. Next one. Next up, Humbrel, the little tin. Flat white. Oh, matte white. My hands are getting white on them. Look at this. I'm usually much neater than that, but we are in a mad dash here. Here we go. Let me check my air pressure. It seems like nothing's coming out. Hold on, guys. One second. Let me pause this. Also, guys, had a little bit of a kink in my line there. There we go. However, I recall, Humble does go on kind of dry. It sprays different than the other paints I've been uh, testing over the years. I'm going to put together a full test of these Humbles because they're a little bit different. They do brush on nice, though. Which is probably what they're made for, you know? Alright, not going to go much more than that. Won't be a fair fight. Not bad. Pretty good, actually. Alright. Let me clean this out. Next one. Next up, E7 Mecha White. That's a B19. B's from their basic line. Oh. Another one of those that covers quickly. The quicker the better. We can get through more of these, right? Wow, this one covers. Nice. I shouldn't be passing judgment already, but boy to keep it from bouncing the way it is but look at how nice this came out wow i'm impressed i have to test this lineup for the 
of the channel soon. Look at that. Wow. Anyway, I'm impressed with that one. All right, guys. Let me clean this out. Next one coming up. All right, guys. Next up, Tamiya XF2 flat white enamel. we go all right moving on next one next up Ravel enamel Matt white number five Some dust on there whoa this one <laughs> this one goes on quick Ooh, some spotting in there see the spots must be something on the plastic Wow, it goes on good, but there's something going on with the plastic on this one. I don't know what touched it, but uh, I'll let it dry and get another corner. You can see how it worked, though. It went on pretty good, actually. All right, let me clean this out. Move on to the next. All right, guys, next up, EX05, EX Flat White by Gaia. Here we go. Is really nice. Yeah, this is a nice one. Passing judgment again, early. It 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 went on like glass, covered good. Wow, that's a good one. All right, moving on quick. Next one. Hey guys, next up is Moto. It's royal white, but I think it's a pearl essence. I can see the pearl essence in here. Which is something I didn't want to test, but it's too late now. I already uh, going on with the test, so uh, let's uh, let's see how it looks. Let's see if the pearl, the uh, metallic or pearl, whatever it is, if it affects this or not. It might. I went to go order some of these whites and uh, some of them were out. Couldn't delay the test any longer. I've been trying to get to this test for a while now. All right, there we go. Well, we'll see if it looks like under the lights. All right, guys, let me get the next one. Next up, Dispay, Fault White. I'm guessing that's flat. That's the second company that had Fault written down instead of flat. This display line is one of those lineups. There's a couple where they, it looks completely different going on and when it's wet and when it dries it. They tend to look really good once they're dry. So a first impression while you're airbrushing it is some of these is not good and then come back after a while when it's dry and I was like impressed by some of them. This is one of those brands. I don't know if that works for the white but I know it does for the greens and a couple others I've worked with. So, yeah, went on good there. All right. Clean her out. Move on to the next. Now, the next few, I think, are pre-thinned. So, we're going to just pour them straight into the cup of the airbrush and shoot them straight out. All right. Next up, guys, Hobby Mio. This is uh, Mecca White. It's airbrush ready. So, this just went straight into the uh, airbrush. And I'll go over it at the bench, but because some of these are airbrush ready, they're not going to brush good at all. You know, they're just going to... Uh, it, it's just it's just how it is. <laughs> wow. Like, this, this is one of those quick covering ones. This, this cover is nice. Wow. Wow. 
Wow, really nice. That made quick work of that. Real impressive. Wow, this is another impressive one. The impressive ones do stand out. Wow, that is good. Right, we'll, we'll, we'll go over it close up at the end of the review. All right, guys, let me clean this out. Put in the next. All right, guys, next up is uh, wait, 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 G Paint. So let's go ahead. I just shook it up quite a bit. Now, like I said, a bunch of these coming up are uh, straight to the airbrush stuff. So we won't have to be thinning. We won't be thinning the next uh, wave of these paints we're testing. But let's see how this stuff goes straight out of the jar into the airbrush. Covers nice. Really good. No problem there at all. Very nice. Sorry about the bouncing, that's just the nature of it. Nice and even. Went on good. Excellent. All right. Oh boy, let me clear this out. Move on to the next. We've got about four solvents left and we move on to the acrylics. All right, guys, Otacon is next. Basic color white. OB5, here we go. Going in for the final hit. Covers nice, just like the regular lineup. Not bad. Wow, this went on. Took a little longer to go than the other ones, but it covers really nice. The problem is you're not gonna get an all-around paint with an airbrush-only paint is my thought process here, you know? That is good, wow. All right, let me clean this out. I got three more to go in the solvents and it's on to the acrylics. All right, guys, up next, SMS Premium White. Straight out of the jar into the airbrush. Whoa, another one of those quick covering ones. Wow. A lot of these great airbrush ones are not gonna be good at brushing on, I'm guessing. This cover's nice, another good one. Wow, I mean, just went on beautifully. Full test of this lineup is coming soon too. I, they got color shifts and all kinds of stuff. I just got their chrome in too. Anyway, uh, early impressive with that one. All right, let me uh, clean this out. I only got two more to go as far as the solvents go. All right guys, next up is Splash Pure White, the Essential Series. My hands are getting white as the uh, black plastic. Um, I know these splash paints, they're made for cars, and they're supposed to all go over a primer. I mean, I didn't do a primer here, and uh, they're all going on the same way. So because of that, it's gonna go over the plastic. We'll see how it sticks. It probably will be fine. Let's see. Yeah, the airbrush is nice. goes on beautifully. Yeah, the ones made for airbrushing really airbrush well, which is what they're supposed to do, you know. Absolutely beautiful. Fantastic. No complaints there. All right, we wash out the brush. Last color left for the solvents. It's MRP, and then uh, we move on to the acrylics. All right, guys, the last last of the solvents and that's MRP known in the hobby world as Mr. Paint uh, but I get that confused with Mr. Hobby so I just call it MRP this is 004 this is their white this is an acrylic lacquer uh, they're from Slovakia it's kind of like uh, Tamiya paints and the AK and Aqueous uh, an acrylic lacquer hybrid um, I've used some of theirs on a couple of Gundams, and uh, I like them quite a bit. And uh, 
I'll be doing a full test on those soon too. Anyway, straight out of the jar, onto this plastic, let's see what we get. Yeah, they, these lay down really nice. They atomize nice. I mean, it's really, it really, really thin, so I, I'm shocked uh, it's laying out this good right off the bat. Yeah, and that's it. Of course, I don't think these are going to brush great because they're pretty thin for airbrushing. I'm trying to show you all the angles here. Anyway, that is it for all the solvents. Let me clean out the brush. I'll get all the uh, acrylics prepared and move on to part two of the airbrush test. Okay guys, next up, custom service, Sci-Fi Pure White. Uh, it was kind of thin in the bottle. Um, I haven't tested these yet, so we will have a video coming, so I'll show you how to thin them and whatnot. But it only took a few drops of uh, thinner to thin them out. Let's see how these go. Again, as we start the acrylics, I'm putting this over a primered piece of plastic. I'm going to have to use the technique that I show in my video, uh, how to airbrush acrylics perfect every time. Just get a light coat, and then just dry it off. I, show, I always show by doing this that I'm not blowing out any paint. It dries pretty fast. It's kind of like building up your own primer. There we go. Coat number two. Flash dry it off. Now when you do a kit, you can put this aside as you get each piece done and pick it back up. By the time you get through a bunch of pieces and come back, you'll be dry. But this is speed drying it, you know, for the camera without having to pause it and unpause it every time. Okay, we should be good. We're going to come in a little closer. Get our final coat. I'm trying to get in positions here so you guys can see it from every angle. That's it. All right, we'll let that dry. Wash this out. Hot water from my uh, coffee brewer. Clear it out quick. On to the next color. All right, guys. Next up is white 2.0. Um, it was a little on the thick side. This is really thick. So I thinned it out with Universal Acrylic Thinner, and um, that's where I got it to. I don't want to thin it out too much. So what I did was I switched over to my Patriot with the silver ball on the end. That means it's a 0.7 millimeter needle. This is my biggest needle I have. So with the thicker stuff, let's just go straight up and uh, use this airbrush for that. Let's see what we get. I'm going to push a lot of paint out, obviously, for the size of the needle. Alright, here we go. We're going to stop right there. Give it the old air dry. These acrylics usually dry pretty quick. Here we go. Go in for the second coat. Laying down pretty good. Let's go in, dry this off quick. I've gotten in the habit to do this on camera to show that no paint is coming out. That's why I always flash to my hand to show it's just there. That's good. You can only get it so the acrylic doesn't run. Some of these uh, brands of acrylics like to run versus uh, solvent paints, which uh, you have to kind of work pretty hard to get them to not run. And there we go. Looking pretty good. And there we go. We'll look at it at the bench when we're done. Let's clean this out again. Hot water. Move on to the next. Alright guys. Next up is Game Air 
dead white. Uh, no mystery here, I've done a whole video on this series, so straight into the cup. Should do it. Let's cap it up. Put her in camera shot there. <clears throat> You dry it quick. This dries on the fast end as far as uh, acrylic airbrush colors go. Another flash dry. Looking good. I'm trying to get it into a certain angle so I can see if it's dry. It is. Let's go in for the final color. This is one of those uh, brands that looks completely great once it's dry versus what it looks like now. It levels itself really nice. So, uh, actually, this looks pretty good. All right, let me clean it out. Move on to the next brand. All right, next up we have Citadel Air White Scar. Here we go. Again, get that light first layer, particularly with the Citadel. I've had a little bit of trouble getting this to go on and not come out looking like uh, oil over water running off. So let's go ahead and air dry this. I'm not painting. It looks like this dries pretty quickly. Let's go with another coat. You hear the compressor coming on if you can hear it. It's uh, it's because I'm doing a lot of straight blowing air. All right. Back in. Dry it again. It takes longer to show you guys painting the acrylics because of the multi slow going layers it takes to put some of these on okay you can see it's dried up let's go on for another coat here we go final layer Got it. All right. Kind of a heavy coat, but man, that's what I was looking for. Anyway, all set. Let me clean out the brush. Move on to the next brand. Next up, Scale 75, Scale Color White. I've yet to experiment with this lineup. I'm going to uh, do a full video test on it, but... Uh, Let's see what we got here. All right, it goes on pretty covers quickly, like some of the lacquers does. Do did I should correct it. my English here? I am uh, again drying it off with air. So it's coming a little spotty. Is it? covers pretty quickly, a little more than some of the other brands. Again, I'm air drying it. You can see. Let's go in for the final coat here. There we go. Beautiful. Alright. Anyway, let's clean this out. On to the next brand. All right, guys, next up, Chroma Air, opaque white, warm white. Let's get the logo there. There we go. This is a urethane-based white. Kind of auto, yeah, auto-grade, I think, kind of like uh, uh, Creex.
All right, there we go, our first coat. Now we're gonna go in, dry it off. I could always use my secondary airbrush for blowing off. I can shake it around more, so I don't have to worry about the paint flying out of the cup too. Warm air would be better. I put these in the dehydrator between takes here to dry them off. So let's go ahead. That should be pretty dry. Next coat. Looking good. All right. I blasted that right in. Looking good. All right. Let me clean this out. Off to the next brand. All right, guys. Next up, Badger Model Flex. Um, where are we here? Is it white? Flat white. I've tested this. Uh, there are other colors in the line. I haven't done white, obviously, yet, but... Uh, I'm kind of impressed with the colors. This is the first, as far as behind the scenes testing goes, it's one of the first acrylics that goes on close to a lacquer. It just lays right down really nice. How's this? Badger? Sprayed through a badger. Let me show you what I mean by just... See it? I really didn't even have to do the... Uh, the flash drying. I just It just goes on. It goes on just like a lacquer. You know? Uh, terrific paint. So I'll be doing a full review of those soon. I got a whole lineup of them. Uh, you guys are going to be impressed. Anyway, uh, let me clean this out. On to the next. Alright guys, next up. Mission Models. Just white, no fancy name. Again, this is another one that's a urethane-based acrylic. These airbrush pretty good. All right, let's air dry this. Nice rich look to this one. All right, all set. All right, clean this out. On to the next. All right, guys, next up, Wicked Colors. Detail flat, opaque white. Again, these are almost an auto, auto, automotive grade urethane based. Acrylic. Again, flash drying. Get that little alligator skin look to it before it. There it is. Before we hit the final coat. Kind of fills in the gaps on the last coat. Flash dry it, keeps it from running. It's going for the final coat. There we go. All right. Let's clean this out. Moving on. We're getting towards the end here. Let's go on to the next brand. All right, guys. Next up, Ammo by Mig uh, Matt White. If you see a little white at the top, that's because the other side is the side that I hand painted. So no big deal, it should get covered up probably. Alright, let's go in here, dry this.
There we go. Alright. Alright guys, let me clean up. We're heading for the final stretch. I got about four or five left. Alright guys, next up, Army Painter Matt White. I found this to be extremely thick. I like the A-OK, -okay, so uh, I went with the uh, making sure I'm using the largest needle I have here. The thicker the paint, you want to go a larger needle. This hairbrush is pretty nice. Let's go ahead and uh, flash dry it. It's as ex exciting as watching paint dry. Is the old joke. Oh, that's it. Two. All right. Two coats should do it. Oh, this could be an early contender. This looks good as far as the acrylics go. Really nice. Woo. All right. Army painter. Who knew? Well, we'll, we'll tell at the end of the shootout. All right. Anyway. All right, guys. Let me clean this out. Moving on. we got about four left. All right, guys. Next up. A Grizzian white number one. Getting white all over my fingers. It's not like me. Mr. Neat over here. Uh, all right, here we go. I find this a tricky brand to paint. It's like, it literally is like colored water and you really gotta go lightly. This is one of the few brands I find where you really need patience. Let's go ahead and flash this off. It's the only one I gotta take real time with, just so it doesn't run. It runs really easy, this brand. Not my favorite kind of type of paint. I love Mr. Hobby, Mr. Color, love them. Uh, might even be my go-to paint if I had to pick one of all the brands. But uh, this particular Acrisian, this pure water-based from them is not one of my favorites. There we go. Looks good. It went on. It worked. Anyway, let me clean this out. We got three left, and then we're gonna go over the results. All right, guys. Next up, Mecha Color, uh, off white, but it's all I had, so that's what we're going with. <laughs> so let's see how it goes on. We want to see how it covers. The Mecha lineup is actually pretty good. It's not like uh, the, the Air lineup where it's pre-thinned. You do have to thin it. And with Vallejo, or Vallejo, how it's pronounced, um, I recommend only using their thinner. It's one of the few products out there I recommend using their own thinner. That's just me. Anything with an alcohol in it will clump it up. It reacts to it. And some of these other thinners will have that. Even my homemade thinner has a bit of alcohol in it. So I personally would stick with their thinner or their flow improver. You can use just the flow improver if you want as a thinner. A lot of people do that. All right, let's go in. This actually has a sweet smell like Tamiya acrylics do. There we go. All right. All right, guys, the end is near. Two left. Let's uh, clean this out and get to wrapping up. All right, guys, look, the Grex. I mentioned I was going to use it and I forgot. So with the last two colors, we'll go with the Grex. Uh, AK, third gen. This is their third gen acrylic, a tense color, white. The Screx lays down a lot of paint quickly. All right, there's the first coat. Let's go ahead and air dry it. I might even lower the air pressure a little bit. Yeah, it was just over 20, I went down to 18. 
All right. Looks like it's flooding it, but it actually isn't. It atomizes it really well. Again, this is one of those paints that looks way different once it dries, too. There we go. All set. All right. Hey, guys, last color. I think it's Pro Acryl. That's our last color. Let me clean out the Grex. We'll use it one more time and wrap this up. All right, guys, final one on the airbrush. Pro Acryl. Let's pour some in. Pro Acryl. Bold Titanium White. Let's get it out of the way. Oh, it atomizes really nice. It goes on almost like a, a lacquer. Kind of impressive, actually. All right, let's uh, yeah, dry this quick. Just pulling the trigger very little. You can feel where it stops before the paint comes out. And right here, you see where the paint. That's it. Pro Acryl, and we are done with the test of airbrushing. I brushed, painted all of them, and uh, I'll let this dry a little bit. I'll come back at the bench, and we're going to go over every one of them. All right, guys, here we are back at the bench. The results. It's going to take a little bit of time here, but uh, I'll try and go quickly. Um, I brushed them over this rock. I brushed them on a flat piece of plastic and we airbrushed the flat uh, piece of plastic all over black, all used the same brush. And uh, I only used two or three different uh, airbrushes, mostly the Badger, Patriot, and two different needles and the Grex towards the end. So um, I got this new, newer camera here, so it's, gonna, it's supposed to focus as I pull everything into you guys. So let's start off with randomly anything. This is E7. Let's see if it does focus. Yeah, look at that. E7, basic white. Here it is brushed on. Not bad. Pretty nice, actually. Airbrushed. Just trying to make sure this focuses. Let's try this way. There you go. Look at that. It airbrushed very nice. And now the big test. Let's see how it brushed over this rock. There's the autofocus. And you know what? Pretty good. There's the casting before paint. And there it is. Actually, one of the better ones. Not bad. Um, it's going to be hard. A lot of them are going to be uh, fine. Uh, I guess we're going to try and pick maybe the worst of the acrylics, and maybe the worst of the solvents. Um, We'll see how it goes. All right, let's go in and see if the camera is working. Yep, there it goes. Mr. Color, GX number one. Yeah, I have a bunch of whites by Mr. Color, but uh, GX, I think, uh, is regarded as one of their better whites. All right, let's see if this focuses in. It has trouble with this stick, so let's go ahead and do it with... There we go, okay. All right, it brushed on very nice. Look how nice and even that brushed. No brush strokes at all. Let's check out the airbrush portion. Very nice, even, really smooth. Very good job. Particularly what this is. What's this, three bucks a jar or something like that? Let's see if I can get this to focus on this rock. There we go. It focuses on this one. Covered really, really nice. Another well covering. This looks like it's a gloss, obviously. I'm trying to get it so it doesn't, there we go. Not bad. This is a this is a going probably a little step better than the E7, and this is more common to purchase. All right, testers is next. Testers. All right. Let's see if I can get this to focus. Yeah, there we go. It's not bad. They brushed on really nice. Not much came through. I mean, I only went one or two quick shots across. Again, I used this uh, Mr. Creos. There it is. Flat number eight. Everyone had the same brush. I'll keep that in camera shot. And here it is airbrushed. Very nice. Smooth. Very, very nice. Not bad. 
what is this two three bucks a jar oh well these are going up in price soon i think starting june these are going way up in price they're supposedly doubling let's see how it looks on the rock let's see let me hold the steady there we go covered good not bad it pulled a little bit inside here again i only went over this like two strokes two uh basic coverings you know i went over it I was, you know you saw me do it i went over it quick once let it dry for about 10 seconds then hit it again and that's what i did for every one so not bad this is not bad particularly price point and common well common as far as america goes where i live uh okay next up let's see if this will focus yes it does flat white from ak real colors right there real colors these are just like tamiya paints they're uh they're kind of an alcohol based acrylic they're a solvent based acrylic you'll know it's a solvent by a flame logo that's why this is done even though it's an acrylic it's it's a solvent all right this is it brushed let's see if we can get this to focus in it has trouble focusing there we go there it is not bad a little cloudy compared to the other two let me see if i can get just focus in a little nicer there we go so yeah it's a little cloudy let's see how it airbrushed no it airbrushed nice i mean you saw it going on it did airbrush let me see yeah no it airbrushed good I'm trying to see through the lens here all right hold on let's check out the rock yeah it brushed on pretty good not bad it's kind of cloudy not as good as uh the mr color not bad okay a-okay -okay. i just did this test it's my previous video a-okay -okay white a-okay -okay silver oaks oops keeps going out of focus stay there there we go i got it so it adjusts no matter what's closest to the lens is what it supposedly is focusing on all right here we go this is incredible this brushed on absolutely incredible can you see how even this is let's check out the airbrushing if you see a spot that means something you know hit the oh let's go with this that means something hit it when it was drying or something but look at how good this covered and you saw the test of the entire lineup and uh, it's impressive let's look at the rock all right let's get this out because it should focus on the rock there we go look at that i mean this is a thick paint and i tried not to thin any of them i did most of them straight out of the jar but uh, even thinned out you've seen it airbrushed so oh so there we go look at this the camera's going to go a little wacky for us there we go how great is that i mean so far this is tops but price taken into account maybe mr color is a close second to that all right next up let's get this camera to work there we go tamiya xf2 f meaning flat all right so we can get the focus in there we go and uh you know what this is really nice it brushed on nice what is this these are three change a jar where i live so price wise there we go very good let's see how it airbrushed very nice airbrushing job hold on guys there we go camera doesn't like uh this strip of plastic how nice did this airbrush very good again price point very good let me hold still so it focuses on this there we go it didn't brush too well over this a lot of gray showing through again that's two or three coats of this hold on hold on yeah not bad pretty good i it brushed flat really good to go into the grooves it kind of lost it a little bit but it airbrushes good too um this is going to be the case where you're going to have to get i think we're going to have to get one that airbrushes good and one that brushes good well this one's pretty good and this one's good so far so let's see this finishers this is finishers from japan not very common in america but i did get them here i think i got them at galactic toys if i'm not mistaken all right instead of fooling around with this let's just go ahead and put a background here um it brushed on this flat piece very nice there's a bubble it formed it looks like but that's all right but still it, you know what it brushed on really nice as far as the flat piece goes anyway let's see how it airbrushed very very nice airbrushing it's a little cloudy on the ends but in the heart of it 
it's a nice even airbrushing job let's check out this rock no it didn't brush on well to the rock see it now you got to take into account some of these are uh, airbrush only i don't know if finishers is but uh some of specifically sms i mean they're, they're just they're just thin paints so to brush them on you're going to get this result that's why I'm thinking we might need two kinds of paint, one for brushing and one for airbrushing. Maybe we get one that does it all, jack of all trades. That'll probably end up being the winner. But this did not brush well over the crevices and whatnot. All right, that's finishers. All right, let me pause the camera, bring in another set. All right, guys, the other ones were removed. I put the ones I thought were on top aside, so we'll go back to them. Let's go on to the next batch. Let's see if this camera's behaving here. Uh -huh. There we go. Humbrel enamel. Yep. Matte white number 34. All right. Humbrel. Uh, this is where I brushed on a flat piece. It's very, very nice. Let's go ahead and block this so we can see it. Look how great this brushed on. It's an enamel. Um, people are going to wonder why I didn't do my brand, Mecca Empire. Uh, if it did well, which I know it does well, because. This is an enamel, and it's similar. Uh, I didn't want to pick it or even come on the top. They thought I would have played favorites. I left it out completely. I'll show my white paints in another video separate from all this. I thought to play fair, I didn't put my own brand in here. But here is Humbrel. This is it. Airbrushed, very nice and even. I mean, not a pure white like some of these others. But still, it sprayed nice. It covered the black nice. Really brushed on this flat surface. Really nice. You can see it there. Uh, let's see how it goes over the rock. Uh, very good. It covered it nice. Not bad. Uh, kind of impressive. Uh, you're not going to get much, but again, I think these are two bucks a can. I get these over here in New England. Oh, here we go. About two bucks a can. Uh, 14 milli milliliters. So, uh, not bad. Price wise, not bad. That did all of them quite well. All right, Mr. Base White. This technically is a primer, but basically eh, it's not. It, it, it covers. Then you could put a primer on top of this. Um, it's to cover dark colors. I said, oh, let's give it a shot. It's gonna If it's to cover dark colors, let's see how it does. This is it brushed on. Again, I don't think it's meant to be brushed, but hey, here it is brushed on, Mr. Base. Uh, very cloudy. Didn't really cover that well. Um, it airbrushed pretty good. It pooled a little bit. At the bottom here, you can see a little pooling. I wasn't crazy about it, but it did it did cover. Let's see how it brushed on this stone. Not well at all. It's kind of gray. I'm not crazy about it. Um, wasn't crazy about the properties of it either. I just here it is brushed again. Yeah, uh, didn't didn't bowl me over. We'll just say that. And I love the brand too. All right, all right. Tamiya Lacquer LP4 Flat White. I'm going to use this cardboard piece here because it's helping uh, with the camera. All right, here we go. Brushed on. Very good. Not bad at all. Um, it, let me see. Was that dust? No, it's just overspray. It, uh, it pulled a little bit. Can you see where it pulled in? It pulled itself in a little bit here. But let's see how it airbrushed. Oh, it airbrushed pretty nice. It ended up drying really nice. So it, it did go on even. It sprayed nice. It's kind of pre-thin, to tell you the truth, guys. It's really thin in the jar. Hence, it did not brush well. It's, uh, can you see it? it it's pretty gray, and uh, I, I wasn't crazy about its brushing capabilities. Again, the second I opened the jar, I knew I was in trouble because it was. it's pretty, uh, it's pretty thin. So if I can get this camera to focus on the... There we go. See it? How cloudy it is. It just didn't come out good. So. Brush on the flat surface, but once it's pooling itself, it's staying there. Once you get to rough surfaces, it's where the trouble starts. That's why I figured I'd do the rock test. All right, here we go. Aqueous number one, white. This, again, is like the AK Real Color and the Tamiya acrylic. It's a, an acrylic. It's a solvent-based acrylic. Let's go ahead and use our cardboard here. There we go, aqueous. Brushed on, very nice. Can you see the shine to it? Very nice, even. Uh, I thought this brushed on terrific. You can feel it's really 
like a thick coating almost. I, this is really good. This feels like I'm rubbing my finger on my car, like metal. Here it is airbrushed, very nice. Again, a cheap paint, two, three bucks a jar, I think. Let's see how it brushed on the stone. Not bad. Almost is not quite as good as the the solvent base. Their their lacquer, I should say. But not bad. Pretty good for the money. The Mr. Uh, besides the base, the other two are doing well, the Mr. lineup. All right, next up is a Gaia. I got both Gaias, the regular and their EX line. Let's go ahead and uh, show you the jar. Gaia 31. Gloss Ultimate White. We'll see about that. And it brushed on good. It's a little cloudy. Some ear bubbles that didn't pop here. You can see them. Gaia. Uh, airbrushed pretty nice. Gave me a little bit of trouble here. Maybe I had to strain it. It's got a little spot. See it? Little spots there in the corner. But it airbrushed nice. It went on pretty nice. However, brushing really, really good. It covered really good brushing. Can you see it? I mean, you don't even see any black or gray coming through at all. Look at how good it brushed. So, the Gaia did well brushing. Let's try the other one. Oh, let's see if we can get the camera to work. Oh, there we go. The camera likes to work on the stone, but not the strip. That wasn't bad. It didn't airbrush as great as I hoped. All right. EX05 Flat White. Let's see if there's a big difference here. All right. Not bad. It brushed on nice, just like the other one. It airbrushed nice. You see some spots here. That must have been just where I touched it, I'm guessing. But it airbrushed on very nice. And brushed pretty good, too. Let's see the stone. Uh, just like the other one. The other one might be even nicer. No real difference here. Hold on. Yeah, I, it's a tie. I don't maybe <laughs> maybe to put in the same paint. Well, actually, this is flat and that's gloss, so not really. <laughs> well, I'd save the money and buy the smaller one. But I'd be fooling when I tell you either one you can get. You can't get Geyer anyway. The the, the secret with Geyer is they only ship worldwide once a year, and uh, I've evidently we're nowhere near that shipment because it's been out of stock everywhere. The pandemic didn't help either. But that's a company that's really tough to get outside of Japan. All right, display, fault white. I'm calling it as they say it, typo. Anyway, this is flat white. So we can get this to focus. There we go. It brushed nice. It brushed nice. It's not cloudy. You see a, little, a stroke or two in there, but not nothing terrible. It airbrushed beautifully. Nice and even. Not bad, guys. This isn't bad. What is these? Five bucks a jar? Four bucks a jar? That isn't bad. Let's see how it did on the stone. Hold on, guys. Let me see if I can get this camera to work here. There we go. Covered pretty good. Not total white, but it's pretty close. It's pretty close. Oop, out of focus. There we go. Not bad. The spade did pretty good. And this is Moto Pro Mix Royal White. Unfortunately, this is a pearl. I didn't realize that when I started the test. But we'll see how it covered anyway. It's uh, This is going to be a tough one to judge because it is pearl, so it's not going to do the same as a, a flat white. But I didn't like it. It, it kind of bubbled up on me. Um, it laid a little uneven. If you can see it there, it's tough to catch on camera. Let's see how it airbrushed. And it airbrushed pretty good. Not bad. Not, not bowling me over. I mean, it did its job. Let's see how it did on the stone. Let's get this out because it can focus on the stone here. There we go. Uh, again, being a pearl, it pulled up a little bit because, you know, being a pearl is transparency to the paint. So, not great. But, again, I might have chalked it up to the color. If you spray it over red, you get a nice look. You know, that's probably what it was meant to be. All right, guys, let me uh, pause it, clear these out, move on to the next wave. All right, guys, final wave of the solvents. Let's go. You, Hobby Mio, Mecca White. Uh, quite a few of these coming up are airbrush only. So brushing uh, might not have been a fair test, but we put all of them through the test. Now, brushing, 
on a flat surface, flawless. I mean, look at how beautiful and even this thing brushed. Airbrushed, same thing. It airbrushed beautifully. It's a little grayish. It's not a pure white that I would want, but it airbrushed nice. This is the pure white I want. How it brushed on this flat surface. Now, <laughs> it did not like... Uh, let's get this camera to focus. There it goes. There it goes. Look at that. It, it didn't, you know, it just... <laughs> <laughs> it just settled through all the cracks. It is not a not a good one for brushing. But like I said, this is a thinned out airbrush only paint. Uh, there we go. Trying to get it so it focuses. So it brushed awesome. And it's got the exact color I was looking for. It's this pure white on this flat piece. I didn't get that here. See, it's kind of grayish. So uh, I think letting it dry and getting another coat, boom, you're going to get that. But to do it all, no, it couldn't brush. Not bad. All right, next is Ravel. Now this Ravel, oh, hold on. Here we go, enamel. They don't come like this. I put those in the jars. Um, get a microphone. This is how they come. They come in a little tin just like this. Same exact tin as Humbrel. They're enamels just like Humbrel. So let's go ahead and see if this camera will focus on this. Yes, brush beautifully, just like the... Uh, the humble same thing these enamels brush really good they have a heavy pigment to it uh it's, it's kind of an off-white oh, let me get this let me focus on this so yeah it's kind of an off-white got some little spotting on it wasn't great obviously the next coat would be perfect but it airbrushed it airbrushed well it dried nice for an, for an enamel let's see how it brushed on the stone move my, don't move my there we go see it didn't brush well on the stone it, it kind of leveled in i think the humble oops there we go i think the humble brushed a little nicer onto the stone and the crevices so it failed that one a little bit it did brush nice on the flat though but if you can see from here you can see it now guys i'm not going to touch the camera look at how pure white coming up uh the tamiya enamel is or even the hobby meal you can see how white they are but see how creamy it's like an off-white i'm not crazy about that color at all it's it's i'm looking for that pure white like this so let's go ahead and look at Tamiya XF2 flat white. This is enamel, not really not available in America. You gotta have them imported like I did, but I did, and I think I got them out of Super Hobby out of Poland. Nice pure white, beautiful airbrushed. Not as good as it brushed on. Uh, I wish you could see it. See, it's kind of cloudy, and obviously this takes two coats of airbrushing. It it pulled nicely when I brushed it though. And let's try and get this to focus. And it didn't brush well on this. Close. I mean, another two, three coats. Oh, I can't move my hand. Hold on, guys. There it is. So, not perfect all around. A lot of them seem to brush well over a flat surface, but that's because it's just laying flat and drying evenly, you know? All right, next up is Mr. Paint MRP. This is out of Slovakia. I do love the lineup of colors. These brush... I mean, these airbrush straight out of the jar. They're pretty thin. The colors look beautiful. They dry even. Um, at this point, I never tested the white. This was still sealed when I opened it. It still had the seal on it, so I know I didn't test it personally. So uh, this is pretty thin, so this is not going to brush well. Of course, it's going to do all right here. Get this to focus. There we go. But you can see it's, it's getting a little grayish around the edges. It airbrushed nice. Not great. Hold on. Hold on. Not see the ends, it kind of pulled in on the ends. It's not a pure white like I like. But the colors in the lineup are great. I will be doing a full test video on this brand coming up soon. Let me take this away and show you the rock. So yeah, it just, I mean, it's an airbrush paint. It's not going to brush on at all. And it shows there. Same exact story for Splash. This is Splash. Auto paints. Let's get this to focus. There we go. Pure white. Essential series. This is uh, auto colors. I got a whole lineup of these for my uh, car. And um, these are not going to brush well. And hence right there. It just, it just doesn't brush well. It's not meant to be brushed. It looks awful brushed. However, this is what I'm looking for in an airbrush color. White. Nice. Even. Perfect. I mean, no orange peel. I mean, these, these dry matte because these colors have to be clear coated just like a real car that's how splash works
but because of that you get a nice even drying process and this is a beautiful white absolutely beautiful pure white that said it's not going to brush good and of course just like mr paint pretty thin you're going to get all gray showing through not bad i mean it kind of performed decent a couple more coats and this will be fine but we're looking for a jack of all trades here we're trying to find the one that does it all if not we might need one for airbrushing and one for brushing but that brought airbrushed beautifully that's just what i'm looking for let me flip it back over all right sms same thing this is sms scale modelers uh supply out of oh i gotta focus there out of australia as you can see right there acrylic lacquer these are pre-thin i put a marble in my a, a bearing in mine to shake it all right let's see if this will focus get some of the stuff out of the way maybe I can get this camera working better there we go sms now i see it you're gonna get the bro strokes it's just it's just how it's gonna be because it's not meant to be brushed now airbrushing flawless one of the best airbrush ones so far it's just like a sheet of glass there's no splotches there's no bubbles there's nothing uneven it's just airbrushed beautifully a wonderful paint great paint i have multi styles of paints i got neons i got the basics i got metals from this brand i got color shifts i'll be doing a full run of a test of this brand because i know as far as airbrushing goes these are great glass jars wonderful let's see how it looks now, of course you can't brush it so here we go over the stone so see it's going to show through a lot of gray it's just just how it is not meant to be brushed Odakon. Odakon, we just did the whole shootout, so you know these are good paints. Again, airbrush ready, so you're going to get that. Um, it did not paint on well. Look at the splotches and dots it left behind. Not great at all. Um, airbrushing, what it's meant to do, beautiful. Perfect. Sheet of glass, wonderfully airbrushed. Couple of little imperfections here and there. Looks like it needs to be strained. not bad it's not cheap you know it's almost six eight ten dollars some of these jars of this brand um it brushed on pretty good for being an oh hold on for being a, an airbrush only paint not bad it it kind of did decent oh there we go that's it so not bad but uh, it didn't brush good here in the test either with some do good there it only airbrushed perfectly all right, next up is Studio G. This is G Paint. I painted this twice. I'm not quite sure why I did that. Oh, let me hold it up. G Paint, white. This is an airbrush only also. So, of course, if I'm brushing it on, this is what we're going to get. Uh, so, it's, it's, you know, it's not a fair comparison. Any of these airbrush ones are just tricky. Uh, it airbrushed pretty nice. Nice and even. It dried good. It seems durable. A uh, little spot here and here. So, looks like, should I have strained it? I don't know. So, I sprayed it twice uh, over this primer, and that's over black plastic. Hold on. It's a little grayish, a little grayish. Not perfect, but it did spray nice. It was easy to work with. More white looking on the, like the other one when I hand painted it. Of course, this isn't a fair comparison. Again, it's an airbrush only paint. Oh, let me flip this over. Hold on. There we go. See it? So, it's, it's not meant, oh, I can't move my hand. There we go not meant to be uh it's not meant to be brushed all right that is it for the solvents i put aside the ones i think are the tops let's go ahead and do the acrylics and then we'll pick the winner overall all right guys here we are on to the acrylics here's the uh, batch number one start off with a uh, chrysian oh let me hold it up first chrysian my most disliked paint in my entire collection as you guys have seen how big my collection is but uh let's go ahead and uh, see what we got you know, see how it pulled it just went to the middle and all the ends are cloudy so it it's really thin out of the jar so i, I gotta say that but it airbrushed good i have nothing bad to say about how it airbrushed i had to take my time with it and i have to use their thinner and you gotta make sure you shake their thinner but this is it painted now you should be able to paint this because this is not an airbrush only paint but boy it it did not uh, brush well over crevices and whatnot at all so that was that 
All right, Army Painter, War Paints. This is, oh, hold on, Matt White, there we go. Um, this brush as well, it's meant to be brushed. So let's go with that. See if this will focus in on us. Here we go, look how nice it brushed. I mean, you got some strokes and it's a rough finish, but it's a nice, pure white. Airbrush, well, not perfect, but, oh, oh, hold on. Not perfect, but close, not bad. I think it airbrushed pretty good. Pulled a little bit around the edges. That's probably my fault uh, going from a solvent to spraying a bunch of acrylics. You gotta really take your time. But it airbrushed pretty good. However, it brushes on really good. I mean, look at how good it brushes on. Oops, hold on, guys. Look at that. Covered everything. So, this is a pretty good acrylic. I think this is a pretty good one. Army Painter. All right, next up is uh, Mig. Oh, hold on. Mig. Uh, where are we? Matt White. Uh, this one is, uh, this is awful. I, I could be a bad, <laughs> it could be a bad thing of paint, but it bubbled up and it, I mean, they all were airbrushed on the same, oh, hold on. Hold on, guys. They were all brushed on the same surface. I, I don't know what happened here. It airbrushed lousy too. See it? So it could be a bad batch of paint. Let's see how it hand brushed. Not good. So I, overall, it, it just didn't like anything. I'm guessing it might have been a bad jar of paint. I'm not crazy about the brand anyway, but that's me. But uh, that was a fail. All right, Badger, who I love their colors. I never tested their white, and this white is not good. But the paint is so good. You'll see in an upcoming test how good this acrylic paint is. It goes on like a, like a solvent uh, paint. But see how it, I, I tipped it a little bit and it just pulled right to the end. I should have let it dry a little better. That was my fault. And then, but the same thing happened. It pulled and cracked and everything on the, the air. Oh, I'm trying to get this to stay focused on the airbrush side of things. So that, so that didn't come out good at all. And then brushing it. Hold on. Not good. So I'm not even going to linger on that. Not good. And I love their colors they're just great i did i uh, did something with one of their blues it's beautiful all right next up mission models white okay Let's see if we can hold this up and focus here yep it brushed on pretty nice you can see some strokes but it's a pure white which i like now i'm going to flip this over so we can get this to focus here and it airbrushed beautiful a beautiful even flat nice white pure pure white color um i like it Let's see how it hand brushed on. Not too bad. It's not meant to be hand brushed. This is again an airbrush paint, but not bad, huh, guys? This one's pretty good. It's kind of a sleeper. I didn't think uh, Mission was going to do that well. Did pretty good. All right. Wicked colors. Oops, hold on. There we go. Multi surface airbrush colors. Again, this is an airbrush paint. Detail flat, opaque white. All right, let's see how it brushed on, even though it's not meant to be brushed on. Uh, not bad. Now, you can see the brush strokes, but it's that nice pure white that I'm looking for. Now, let me get this piece of cardboard in here and see how it airbrushed. It airbrushed, beautiful. I mean, that is a beautiful, even, matte white. It, it did. It just it airbrushed really well. So, taking into account that it's not supposed to be hand brushed, it really airbrushed well. Let's see how it hand brushed over the rock. Not bad, huh? This is not that bad. So, it was like six bucks a jar. Oh, I'm trying to hold it up. There we go. These are big. These are two millimeters. These are nice big jars. So you're going to get a lot of paint for your money here. This this is actually a pretty good one. I didn't expect much, but boy, can you see how pure white that that is? All right, Chroma Air. It's kind of the same type of paint. Oh, let me hold up the, the bottle. Chroma Air. I just got in, let me see. Speaking of chromia, they just sent me this. Look at this guy. Oops, don't hit the mic. Aluminum. Look, they never had metallic colors before. This is their first. So I will be testing that. See, it's the same bottle, same company. So I'm hoping their uh, metallics are going to be nice. Anyway, let's see. Let's get anything out of focus here so we can get this to focus in. Chroma Air. So not meant to be brushed. It's an airbrush only. Obviously, really didn't brush on well. He airbrushed really good. Oh, he airbrushed on pretty good. It pulled away from the edges a little bit. 
That's probably my not my expertise in it. I should have went a little slower, but not bad. It's a nice white. It's even. Let's see how it brushed on the rock. Oh, oh let's get to focus. There we go. Look at that. So it brushed on pretty good. Not bad. Not bad at all. This brushed better on the crevices than it did on the uh, the brush strokes of the flat surface, which some do the opposite. Good value for the money, though. Look at the size of the jar. All right. Last one in this batch is Scale 75 is the actual brand. Scale color, white. This is meant to be brushed, so let's see how it did. You can hold this a certain way. There we go. So yeah, a lot of brush strokes. So it wasn't crazy about the, how this brushed. I didn't even thin it. I tried to do it out of the jar, and, and I still got that. Then I thinned it a little bit, and I got the same result. So Now, it airbrushed pretty good. Let's see. It airbrushed pretty good. Not great. Middle of the road. It's got some bubbling in it. It's, it's kind of a little cloudy. Let's see how it brushed on the rock. Hold on. There we go. There, yeah, you know, brushed on the rock pretty good. So this is probably meant... This is obviously... it's meant, Oh, hold on. This is meant for building... Uh, for painting miniatures. So that's what you're going to get. Sorry for the focus, guys. i got to get this camera adjusted. <laughs> All right, guys. Let me get the last batch of uh, acrylics and wrap this up. All right, guys. This is it. Rounding out. The rest of them. This is the last of them. Let's go with Pro Acryl, Pro Acrylic, Bold Titanium White. All right, let's see if we can get this camera working here. Pro Acryl. Yeah, the brush strokes, nah, not great. It left a lot of brush strokes. Uh, it's, it's, it's a rough matte kind of finish, so I think the second or third coat, you're going to get a nice pure. It is that nice white color that I do like. Um, let's flip this over. It airbrushed really nice. I mean, it airbrushed even, a little spotting on the end, but it's a nice color white. It airbrushed nice. It's a little bit of that rough texture, but it's, that's what it's supposed to be. Let's check out how it painted over the stone. Let me move my hand. There we go. And not bad. It's kind of grayish if you can see it here, but it did some pooling here in the middle. You can see. I'm trying to show you guys. There we go. See it? But not bad overall. Far, far from the best. All right. Oh, let's see this. Focus. Citadel Air White Scar. Okay. Now Air means it's an airbrush only. So this is <laughs> this is what we're going to get on some of these when you brush them. Uh, not well at all. Uh, airbrushed much better. It airbrushed much better. It's a nice white. It's a little bit of an off white, a bone white. I think that's what it's supposed to be. Uh, it pulled up a little bit around the edges. It, Pulled in a little bit. I'm not crazy about that. Let's see how it brushed onto the stone. Oh, hold on. There we go. Yeah, not bad. Not as bad as I would have thought. It pulled up quite a bit near the end, though. Right here. So, average at best. It didn't brush well at all, obviously, but it wasn't tops and airbrushing either. All right. Game. Oh, let me get this to focus. Game Air Vallejo Dead White. So, this air tells you it's airbrush only. And let's get this to focus, and you can see why. That brushed on terribly. Uh, airbrushed really nice. It's a nice pure white. Uh, it's a little cloudy on the edges, but that's probably me more than the paint. It airbrushed really good. It's a durable paint. I've already tested durability. I'm not testing durability here. So not bad. And you know what? It kind of brushed on pretty good. Look, it's, it's pulling up a little bit, but... Oh, hold on. Get this to focus. But I think... Uh, Second coat painting this hand brush, not bad. It might come out good. But all right. This is oh, custom service, custom with a K, sci-fi pure white. This is an a pure acrylic. Uh I believe these yeah, these are pre-thin. These are airbrush only, but uh Custom service. You can see how it pulled really bad to one side of mine. I must have put it down and leaned it a little bit, and it just ran right to this. So you can tell it's just too thin, not really meant to be brushed. Um, it didn't airbrush great. This is like your traditional cloudy, not wonderful looking white. Not the best. Let's see how it brushed on. Not good either. So 
Don't even waste much more time on that. That was average at best. I painted one of their reds and it came out great. But that's why white is different, you know? It's just different from everything else. The size of this jar. This is white 2.0. This cost me, I think, 30 and then 10 bucks to ship it. This was $40. Boy, to round out all the paint for this test was not cheap. 40 bucks for this. The whitest white, he calls it on his website. Let's see. It is a beautiful white. It's a bright, almost a fluorescent white. Oh, let's see. White 3.0. Let's see it. All right, let's see how it airbrushed. It airbrushed well. There's a spot here, but I think that's oils. So it airbrushed really well. It's that nice pure white that I do like. It better be if it's white 2.0. Absorbs light or reflects light. Is that what it does? Better than all others? Let's see how it brushed on. See that it's thick anyway. It's probably brushed on good. And it did. Look at that. It covered be oh, the one on the camera. There we go. Now I did two stones because hey, I paid 40 bucks for it. I wanted to see how it would work. And it covered everything really well. So this is uh probably one of the better acrylics. It really did it did well on everything. So this is a good acrylic. Alright, mecha color. This is not airbrush ready. Off white. This is supposedly you can brush and airbrush it. However, it uh, not good. It brushed terribly. It pulled up. It just I couldn't get even strokes with it. Uh, airbrushing a different story. It airbrushed pretty nice actually. It's a smooth kind of semi gloss. It's not that matte rough color. But uh, I can try and get the reflection on it. Now nah, it's tough with this. White's tough to get on the camera. See, it? marked it up there. Not great. And let's see how it brushed on here. See if I can get this to focus. Yeah, not crazy. It bubbled up a bit. A little disappointed, actually. Because their air lineup is so good. So yeah, yeah, the, the air lineup is just really, really good lineup of paint. All right, last one. Last one. AK 3rd Gen Acrylics. This is Intense Colors White. This is brushing and airbrushing. I think it does both these paints, I believe. Let's see. There it is, AK. I put third gen, because that, oh, hold on. There we go, third gen. See the brush strokes? So I left a lot of brush strokes, but it's got that pure white that I do like. Let's see how it airbrushed. Oh, wipe it off a little bit, there we go. Yeah, it airbrushed pretty good, but it's kind of chunky. It took, took a bit to go down, but it's got a smooth feel to it. It doesn't have that rough feel. Not bad, actually. These are, what, three bucks a jar? Not bad. Let's see how it brushed on the stone. Really good. It, it really brushed on well. It covered everything. I mean, really good. Kind of impressed, actually. Not bad. Price-wise, not bad. All right, guys, let me pause the camera, and I'm going to put what I think are the winners here on the table. All right, guys, here it is. This is the Sweet 8. Uh, it was tough to pick one and I, I went with picking several because it depends where you guys live uh, and I think uh, some paints are tough to get uh, it's not fair picking Gaia um, overall because it's just so difficult to get but being white is a color I think is in stock in many places it just brushed on beautifully it airbrushed beautifully it's fantastic yeah, it's like four bucks a jar should you find it somewhere it's great now no slouch matter of fact just as good uh, Mr. Color GX and oh, let me get it. There we go. Mr. Color GX and uh, even the regular. Hold on, guys. Reach across the aisle here. We'll call it. Even their regular, uh, Mr. Color. Uh, I've already used. It's just as good. So any of the Mr. Color whites are great. Look at that. I mean, it's just beautiful. Here it is, airbrushed. These are perfect. So that's great. Um, probably overall, the entire winner would be this AOK. -okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, guys. It yeah, comes in the nice box. Yeah. Yeah, this is great. But, you know, head and shoulders above the Mr. Color or Gaia? Nah, not really, but, you know, at 10 bucks a bottle, but you can triple what this thing, you, you thin it out. It's, so it is, it is worth it, and it's readily available now worldwide. It just shipped recently, so this is a good one. All right, Aqueous. It's close to... 
Look how beautiful it brushed on. It, it's, it's, uh, oh, let me hold up the jar. Here, aqueous number one. Um, it brushed on good. It's cheap. It's an, it's, uh, it's like the, uh, to my eye, it's a hybrid, an acrylic lacquer. It airbrushed beautifully. Um, again, this is like 280 a jar. I mean, it's cheap. So, and humble. Not readily available in America, but I, two of the guys I buy my stuff from have them in stock, and I think they're not even two bucks a can. I'd, they're really cheap. So that's why I put it up here. Just dirt cheap. I know they're easy to get in Europe, but it, look how well it brushed on. It airbrushed good, and it painted on this rock well. Hold on. i get it to focus for you guys. There you go. Look at that. And that's why I picked those five for the solvents. It's hard to pick one, but I figured in your area where you live, one of those, they're all perfect. For acrylics, um, this is a little expensive, but again, you're getting a ton. <laughs> this is a giant jar, 150 milliliters. So you're going to get a lot here. Um, it really is a beautiful pure white. Um, it brushed on good. It airbrushed on good. It, it did everything well. So that's why I picked that. Uh, shocker of them all uh, is this Wicked Colors. It's about six bucks here locally. And in, in America, we get these at the Hobby Lobby. They have them in most of the... You can get them readily online. It just it just airbrushed beautifully. It's a beautiful white color. Um, it brushed on decent. I think one more coat will make it look good. Obviously, it brushed on really good onto the rocks. So <clears throat> that's wicked. And I guess this uh, AK third gen. Again, another coating. It's smooth, so I think another coating will brush on nice. Uh, it airbrushed on good. It's cheap. Here it is on the stone. Let me hold the stone up one more time. There it is. Oh, focus, baby. There we go. See, it brushed on really good. So, uh, best results are a solvent. The acrylics, this one is good. The Wicked is good. And you should be able to get by um, even with the AK, which is really cheap. That's a cheap option. And uh, those are my picks. And that is the gigantic white shootout. Sorry for such a long video. I knew it was going to be a long video because I wanted to airbrush every one on camera, which is tough when you're doing almost 50 colors, which totals 50 minutes, if you think about it, at the quickest. But uh, there it is, guys. It's done. It's over. We did the white test. I think these are your winners. I mean, I knew there was going to be several winners because I'm testing so many. But again, depends on where you live, how much you want to spend. That's why I picked several winners. And uh, those are my picks. Uh, you can go back, pause the camera, you know, look at them as best you can. It's tough to get nice lighting with this light. I tried several lights. Some give it a blue tint. It's really tricky. Right now, it's a nice looking even lighting. You can see it here. If I can even move the light over. See, it turns blue. So it's really tough to get it perfect. But uh, that's it. The next couple of videos are not going to be this long, I promise. So I can put up a few more. I'm going to do at least another one or two this week. Um, I got a metal build Gundam F91 from Bandai. I want to unbox and build that on camera. You know, we're going to do the uh, glass file shootout test. I got a bunch of glass files to test. That's coming up. And I got two airbrushes to test. I got a Hobby Mio. And I got a uh, new Harder and Steinbeck um, we're going to be testing out. And those are all coming within the next two weeks. Anyway, guys, have a great week. I should see you before the end of the week with another test. Here are your whites. These are my winners. And uh, thanks for sticking by, guys. If you stood this long, please like the video. I need the likes. It's very important. Subscribe if you haven't already so you guys can keep up. And uh, I thank you guys for sticking around. Sorry the video was so long, but I want to be thorough. Anyway, guys, have a great, great rest of your week.